What's up guys, Nathan here. I'm having a little cup of coffee, waiting for my tractor to warm up. I think I'm gonna call this video Fire and Ice. Why am I calling it Fire and Ice? Well, on the last job I videoed, the tractor got so hot that it actually caught fire under the hood. Fire, fire, fire. I uh, had to get the fire extinguisher out. And now I'm mowing in the ice. It's super cold, I'm trying to finish before Christmas. So let's see if I can get this done. You know, I've had a lot of people say that, man, you have like the most awesome job ever. Beautiful scenery up there by yourself, relaxing. And yeah, there are moments where it's super peaceful and it's fun. And there's a side of the story that I haven't really shared with you guys a whole lot. This job can actually be really stressful. My machine actually has to have bulletproof Lexan in order to keep me from getting hit with debris. So even though I have a shield, by the end of the day, I'm completely shot from all the debris hitting next to my face. Not only do I have to think about my own safety, but I also want to think about the safety of others. There are trails that intersect this road that I'm mowing and I have to make sure that my signs are out so nobody is surprised by me being there. My head is always on a swivel and my security cameras are constantly running. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a total blast destroying stuff with a five foot rotary hydraulic cutting head. And there are some things that you gotta think about like half-cut trees jamming up under your machine to rip wires loose, your mower head getting hooked up on a stump and ripping your whole boom off, or starting a fire on your machine. That actually was a pretty big surprise. This is the first substantial fire that I had to deal with, and I actually got it on camera for you guys. Fire, fire, fire! Baby! <laughs> oh, that gets you shaking a little bit. Woo! Oh, some sticks got right down in there on the exhaust manifold and started burning up. Oh my God. So first thing I noticed is that my temperature gauge was really climbing and uh, it was just because I was mowing some really really heavy stuff there. It wasn't overheated it was just good and hot and then I started smelling like a campfire burning and then I started seeing smoke rolling out from underneath. And what happens is all this fan is blown air back into there and uh, all it takes is a little bit of some twigs fall down inside of there and they end up right there right on top of the manifold where I heat my lunch up typically. And uh, it just ignited a <clears throat> fire extinguisher on it because it really wouldn't take much to torch this whole machine, so. Now, again, I want to be really clear. This is not a cry fest. This is me just being really honest with what I have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. So here's another thing to consider. This is the Pacific Northwest. We average 168 days of measurable rainfall, equaling out at 66 inches per year. That means that things get really wet up in the mountains. And wet means really slippery. And slippery is not fun when you have a machine that doesn't like to keep all four wheels on the ground. Now here in the Pacific Northwest, weather changes are pretty drastic. Today it went from rain at 45 degrees to ice and snow at 20 degrees. It's a pretty drastic drop. Things are froze up pretty hard this morning. About 20 degrees out. And uh, I was worried about things starting up when it gets this cold. It's not super cold if you're like from uh, Midwest, but for this area, it's pretty cold. No problem. Black Americano, that's what I drink. No ice cube, double cup, so that I can pour off little bits at a time and drink it. Mm. 
Oh, that hits the spot. Coffee. <laughs> This is my copied up, ready to work face. All right, we're all thawed out, warmed up, and fueled up. Let's do this. Because we had so much rain and then it all turned to ice, traction is gonna be a major issue today. Now, despite my best shot of finishing this job before Christmas, I was unable to finish it. I mowed till dark and it just wasn't safe to mow anymore. Now, I had to leave my machine up on the mountain. I have my security camera set up watching it. As for me, I'm ready for a good break. It's been a lot of stress and a lot of alone time. And to my friends who are all subscribed, I just want to say thank you guys. I really appreciate it. It's encouraging getting comments from you. And if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping in and checking it out. Be sure and smash that subscribe button. All right, see you guys next time on Nateness TV. It's just my life.